Egg Stampin' Sharon. On today's video, I have a story to tell you. I hope that you enjoy this idea. I've never seen anything like it. Maybe you have. If you currently or don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you with your Stampin' Up! supply needs. You can find my store, how to contact me, my blog, how to sign up for my newsletter, all down below the video. Just click the Read More button. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I invite you to subscribe to my channel below and then hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. Let me show you what I've been up to. So originally I was gonna do my video on this idea. Cute, right? And my friend Trish sent me a message and asked me a question. She said, is there a way to make a card that would hold a photo like people send Christmas cards and they always send pictures of their families. I was like, oh, I've never done that. Let me see if I can figure it out. So I did. Now maybe I'm not the first one to do it, but I can't wait to show you my prototype. I'm just gonna show you the prototype and then we're gonna step through and I'm gonna make um, the, we're gonna make the card together. And the reason I'm calling it as a, a prototype is I had to learn a few things. I chose to use Wrapped in Christmas. Again, if you've seen any of my videos, I love this sentiment right here. And I needed a long skinny one to go on that panel right here. So it was perfect, okay? Um, so then I did this. I put a picture of me and my hubby that you can take out. like that. The reason I called it a prototype is because I had to figure out the measurements. And if you'll notice, this side is a little jagged, okay? And I'm gonna to explain to you what we need to do to prevent that from happening. But I wasn't gonna remake the card because I wanted to point that out to you and really iterate how, how important it is to make sure that doesn't happen. But I'm excited to make this card with y'all today. So the first thing I had to figure out was what size picture to cut. I cut mine at three and a half by four and a half so that it would fit in my frame. Now, if you have your pictures professionally printed or whatever, um, they're gonna be different sizes, okay? This is not your standard picture. However, um, I think it's a good size picture. It's a little bit bigger than a wallet, um, but it's, it's a good size picture and it's a great picture of me and my hubby, don't you think? All right, so I wrote myself a note so I wouldn't forget to tell you that. Um, I have my very vanilla cardstock, which is my base, and this is the thick. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. My knot of navy is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I have a piece of the brushed copper. So my brushed copper layer measures one and seven eighths, almost two inches, but not quite. And, and then it is by three and an eighth. And then my very vanilla layer, and this is just the regular very vanilla. I typically don't use the thick on my layers. Um, this measures one and three quarters by three inches. Then I have some of that brightly gleaming designer series paper that y'all know I love. But I wanted it, um, I wanted to pull in a Christmas design. And for this project, I needed a non-directional designer series paper. So my stars could go this way or this way. So keep that in mind when you're picking out yours to make your card. So I have two short pieces that measure one inch by three inch, two of those. And then I have two long pieces that also measure one inch but they are by four and a quarter. I cut out the little bell from using the sound of the seasons dies and of course my brushed copper uh, metallic paper. I have some ribbon that is from the basket weave combo, very coppery looking to me. I have some knot of navy, I have adhesive and you will need liquid glue because we need to be able to move those layers around a bit. So remember my word skosh, on the long side, on the five and a half inch side, I wanna put it back in my trimmer and I want to cut off a skosh. I mean, it's not even measuring on any of the lines. It might be a 16th, but I just want to shave off 
just a little thin piece, okay? The reason being, when you go to, when you go to put it back in the card, we need it to close and not get caught in that uh, score line. That's what happened to me when I was first making my card, okay? Now, while we have our paper trimmer here, I don't know if you can see, but for the sake of the video, I went ahead and used a Sharpie and I made some marks. I made one at the three quarter inch and then one at the four and three quarters inch because now I want to cut off three quarters. I want to cut out the center and I want to have a three quarter inch uh, frame around my, my picture. So I'm going to line it up at the three quarter inch mark And I'm gonna bring it to my mark. Here, let's do this. Let's make sure you can see that. I'm gonna bring it to my four and three quarters mark. And I'm gonna cut down to the three quarter inch. And then I'm gonna turn it, lining it up again at the three quarter inch. Now this time I really don't need to use that because my paper isn't that tall. I'm using my cut line and then I'm gonna use my three quarter inch down here. And then I'm gonna turn it again, lining it up at the three quarter inch. And again, I'm at the th four and three quarters. I'm gonna come down to the three quarter inch, turning it my last time And now I can just pull this out. Now I chose to emboss mine. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I liked mine embossed. So I'm gonna go emboss that now. So I chose to use the Wonder of the Season, the little snowflakes, cause I thought it was a sweet little texture for a Christmas card. And now what I want to do is I want to take my liquid glue and I want just a thin line because we need to make sure that we have um, room to slide our picture in. So I'm just going to grab, we're going to grab our silicone mat. We're going to flip this over and we're only going to do three sides. We don't want to glue our top. So we're going to place this right here. So we have our top open, and I'm gonna set that aside and let that glue set. We're gonna stamp our layer using Knight of Navy. I always like to leave the stamp on there for just a few seconds. To make sure we get all of that um, ink into the cardstock, we're going to add some adhesive. And we're going to carefully line this up. We have just a thin little delicate border around our sentiment. And now we're going to set that aside. We're going to bring our card, we're going to bring our card. Um, base back in while we have our ink pad opened and we're gonna stamp our sentiment. Hoping I get it straight because I can't get my head right over it. 
The hazards of making a video. That's pretty darn good, don't y'all think? Okay, now we're ready to decorate the front. We have all of our pieces. We're gonna grab our liquid glue again. And you can actually do this several different ways if you, let's see. So see how I have this longer piece up at the top? We could actually bring it down. Just like put together a little puzzle. So we're just flipping our layout. And it's gonna go like this. Now we want a really thin, almost like an eighth of an inch around. And I have left my card flat because I found that was easiest. Okay, now we're ready to start gluing it together. And this may seem crazy, but I am actually going to just add my glue to all my pieces before I attempt to piece this together so that I can move quickly and be able to rearrange these if I need to. And kind of slide them together. See, how easy is that, okay? Um, just kind of make sure everything is straight. And then we're gonna add our center. This is such an easy way to make a Christmas card that holds a picture. Love it. We can just slide this right in. So cute. All right, so now we have our ornament. And I think this time I'm gonna pop it up. I did not pop it up with a dimensional on my um, prototype, but I'm gonna do it this time. Just gonna put that here. Then we're gonna bring our ribbon in. So I tried tying a bow and I just felt like it was too much for the card. So I just decided just to tie a knot A little tail. Grab my scissors. And then I'm going to grab a glue dot. It's always a question do I want it down? Do I want it up? I think I want it up. Okay. All right. Now this glue is good and dry. And now we can add my picture. I love it. What do y'all think? I would love to hear your comments below the video. Let me know if you've ever tried this because I had not. And until my friend Trish asked, I hadn't even thought about it. I just loved how it turned out. So happy stamping, y'all. Mm -hmm.